What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we got a brand new firmware update for the DJI Mavic Mini. Released on December 4th, 2019, this version number is 01.00.0300 and is 39 megabytes in size to download. The following patch notes accompany this firmware update, so if you want to read through all of them, go ahead and pause the video really quickly, as now we're going to begin checking out some of the larger changes. If you're having some trouble figuring out how to update the firmware on your Mavic Mini, DJI actually makes it really simple, as when a new update is available, it will prompt you to update right here in the top left corner of the home screen of the Fly application. Now, if you aren't seeing that, then you can manually check for an update by selecting the red text in the top left corner that shows you have an update ready to be installed, or you can tap on the three dots in the top right corner, head over to the About tab, and then select Check for Updates right next to your firmware version. This is also another way to check what version you're actually on if you want to double check. So look, this update for the Mavic Mini is by no means massive, and when I say massive, there isn't really many notable changes within those patch notes that I already showed you guys. DJI did address a couple of critical bugs, which we'll be going over here in a couple of seconds, but usually within the first couple of weeks, DJI likes to add some new features into the product that they release, whether it be like an Osmo Action, the Osmo Pocket, or any of the drones that they've released. They usually give us some brand new features to play with, but as far as what we've gotten from the Mavic Mini so far in the first month it's been out. It's just been some different updates that polish the way the drone operates, which is great. It makes the experience better, but I'm really hoping that DJI does add some features for us to play with within the Mavic Mini because as of right now, there's really not much to choose from except for like the four different quick shots. So I'm looking down here at the patch notes and there are two different points that talk about optimizing like the flight stability in certain conditions with the Mavic Mini. And you know, it's funny, just the other day I was out messing around with the Osmo Pocket and I noticed that the drone did shake around quite a bit as it was just sitting here hovering. Remember, this was the older firmware version, so this clip was taken on firmware version 01.00.0200, but now on the new firmware version that ends in 0300, I noticed that the overall hovering performance is much more stable. The wind was fairly the same in both of these clips, and when I took the drone further out, I noticed that it was getting faster top speeds than usual, and the drone overall felt smoother to fly, which is hard to believe because this thing already flies so well. Now, moving on, I think that by far the biggest change and the biggest fix that was made in this firmware update is the optimization to the aircraft propulsion prompts. If you guys have been flying your Mavic Mini, you know that the drone offers different status prompts in the top left hand side of the screen. And one of those prompts that appears states aircraft power insufficient. And this would pop up on my screen quite frequently. When that first happened to me and when I first saw that warning, and come across my DJI Fly application, I started freaking out. I thought something was wrong with the drone. I thought that primarily something was wrong with the battery I was using. So I landed, I swapped batteries, and then I pretty much immediately got that same warning when I was on the older firmware version. So I knew that it was sort of par for the course. I figured if I was pushing my drone hard, if I was pushing the Mavic Mini hard, say through high gusts of wind, maybe if I was flying in sport mode, I would see that pop up because the drone was using a lot of the battery power or it was using a lot of energy coming off of the battery. But I I can say that in the three flights I had this morning, burning all three of the batteries I've got for the Mavic Mini, I didn't see that error once. I didn't see it come up on my DJI Fly application, which is good. Now, I know for me that it's not something to be worried about, right? But if somebody who hasn't been flying drones for long comes and starts flying their drone and they see this critical warning in the top left corner, it could totally discourage them to fly because they think that their drone is broken. So it's really good that DJI fixed this up. Now, this update also includes an optimization to the aircraft orientation control, which I assume has to do with like the map in the bottom left corner, as well as the compass in the bottom middle of the DJI Fly application. If we refer to some of the older screen recordings that I have saved here on older versions of the Mavic Mini's firmware, you'll see that the small arrow that represents the drone in the bottom left is almost shaking in this clip, which led me to believe it was being blown around really hard in the wind, despite my drone still flying at a good top speed and the camera being completely stable. In a totally separate clip, I also noticed that the compass in the middle was just totally off. Like it showed the aircraft was behind me despite my remote being pointed straight at the drone. Remember, those screen recordings were captured when I was flying on an older firmware version on the Mavic Mini. But now since I've updated, I haven't 
noticed any issues in terms of the drone's orientation on the compass in the middle of the fly application or on the map on the left side there, which is good because I use both of those tools in order to get the drone back to me if I lose sight of my drone, if I lose any sort of like image transmission, or if I just become disoriented and I don't know where my drone is at. So it's really good that I can now rely on both of those without saying to myself, all right, where is the drone actually? Now, moving on, the final thing here on the patch notes, or I guess getting to the bottom of the list here, is the optimization to the gimbal control. Now, I've had no issues with my gimbal, but I know that some people have found that their gimbal is twitching, which I unfortunately haven't seen. I haven't had it happen on my drone, so I can't show it to you guys. I guess you can also look at it from a standpoint that I'm fortunate that it hasn't been happening, but for me, the gimbal is still smooth as ever. This video clip you guys are watching here was actually taken on the very first firmware version flying with the Mavic Mini, and even in very high gusts of wind, the gimbal is incredibly stable. This is like the one thing that really impresses me about the Mavic Mini. The gimbal and the camera are so small, but despite fighting through really high gusts of wind, the footage still looks incredibly smooth. The final thing that's listed here on these patch notes is that it says it fixed an issue where the remote controller model numbers were displayed incorrectly through the DJI Fly application. I actually had a couple of people comment and email me asking why that was. So if you're one of those people, just know that the newest firmware version fixes that, so definitely update your firmware. In terms of this update as a whole, I've noticed no issues so far when flying with the Mavic Mini. I know some people like to wait before they update, but I've already flown three times, three different batteries, and every single time it has flown flawlessly. I've encountered I haven't encountered any issues, so feel free to update. It's definitely safe. I would definitely recommend it, and I'm hoping that DJI hopefully gives us some sort of big update in the future where they add some brand new features, maybe panoramas, maybe some intelligent flight features. Who knows? Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.